Hi, uh, this is a tutorial on uh, downloading and running the Gcoin wallet, cryptocurrency wallet. Now I've done a, a new installation on Windows, so um, any problems that might occur for you uh, should occur here. Everything is reset fresh. So we will go to Google Chrome and uh, to gcoin.us now there we are gcoin.us let's um, scroll down here to download the wallet windows wallet here that'll do nicely okay gcoin windows dot zip 15 megabytes so we'll wait for this now for a moment to uh, download. In the meantime, you can have a look through the site here and uh, see all the other bits and bobs. I'll go through some more of that later with some more uh, tutorials. But for the moment, let's get the uh, Gcoin, Gcoin Windows wallet running. Okay, 15 megabytes. Let's uh, see here. Okay, now when we go to click on Windows, if we go to click on Gcoin-QT, it'll try and extract all. I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to put that on the desktop. Extract. Okay. Let's move to the desktop. Nearly there. Okay, close those down there. Windows folder. There we go. Gcoin-QT. Let's run that. Click on Run. There may be other problems that will occur for you that I'm not seeing. Private network. Allow access. Yep. And <coughs> there's our wallet, out of sync, 13, 13 weeks behind. That means here that um, the wallet is downloading the blockchain, which is all of the transactions that have happened to date with Gcoin. When the um, wallet has fully downloaded all of this information here, a little green tick will appear here and that will mean that your wallet is synced up. Now, while we're waiting for that to happen, so far nothing, that can take quite a while. Let's take a look, a quick look at how to uh, mine directly from your wallet. That's going to work for a little while it is, um, until the coin gets too busy. Then um, you're going to need to look at other options, like a mining pool. But for the moment anyway, click on Help, Debug Window, Console, and down the bottom here is where you put in instructions. Now I can type in here, for example, Help. There's all the little instructions that you can use. But the one for mining is Set Generate True minus one. Now when I click that you'll see here a little um, sign has appeared and oh look down there it's mined 150,000 G coins. Now none of this will appear until uh, the wallet is synced. It says 11 weeks behind now so we've got a little bit of progress there. Let's move that down there out of the way. So um, basically when that wallet syncs up it will contain the full blockchain, all the transactions that have happened to date, the very same as Bitcoin and this computer is now mining coin 
and everything seems fine. While that's happening, let's take a quick look at the wallet.dat file. The wallet.dat file is the file that backs up all of your transactions. So, let's uh, take a look now. We go to my computer, drive C. Let's see if I can remember this now. Windows. Now here's all the files here. Let's quick take a quick check back at uh, gcoin.us. I've written them all down. Okay, C colon users. The name of your uh, computer, this one here says Greg. App data roaming Gcoin. So C colon users Greg. Let's go there. C colon users. In this case, the computer is called admin. Now, let me double check what's after admin. Roaming and Gcoin. Now, I don't see roaming there, which means that it's a hidden file. So, we're going to sort that out now. Um, if I go into here, it's got a little bit of instruction on how to deal with hidden files. Um, oop. Maybe it's in here. Okay, yes, hidden files. They're dealing with hidden files here, so... Um, let me see. Okay, organize, show hidden files. Okay, let's go back to... in here. My computer, organize. Folder and search options. View. Show hidden files. There we go. Apply that. OK. Now, uh, there we go. App data, roaming, Gcoin, and there is our wallet.dat file. So if we right click, copy that, I can paste it onto the desktop there. That's my file there. Now, if I was to uh, take that wallet.dat file and save it onto a USB key. Then uh, later on, if uh, the data gets damaged here, I can reinstall again, put the wallet.dat file back to where I found it on the new installation, right over the one that's there. Then uh, sync back up my wallet and um, the uh, transactions will reappear and even transactions that happened after that will reappear. They'll be already in the blockchain, so it will download them back again and update that wallet.dat file. So once you have a copy of that, you're safe. You may want to um, make a note of any passwords that you put, um, because when you encrypt the wallet here with a password, you um, need to have that because that will uh, stop you getting in even if you update the wallet.dat file. So you need to have your password and your wallet.dat file. If there's no password it doesn't matter. Now we're still waiting on this wallet to sync up. This could take quite a while synchronizing with network. So uh, I think we'll have to just leave that running and come back. Um, but uh, you can assume that uh, that will appear okay with the little green arrow in a little while. Okay, um, I'll come back about this a little bit later. I'll end the tutorial here. And uh, you now, just to recap, have learned how to install the Gcoin wallet, how to uh, back up the wallet.dat file, and where to go, which is uh, Gcoin US gcoin.us for some uh, extra information. Okie doke, this is Greg here. Thank you very much and bye bye.